complete the mini challenge left over from the last chapter, we need to add a link filter function to the task status statistics chart. Link filtering functions, such as the to be reviewed statistics chart, which we can click to jump to the task management page and filter is applied, or click on other statuses to complete navigation and filtering. Then we have also added a checkbox group for the assignee nickname. In the assignee checkbox group, we can edit field properties. We also need to configure this on the column chart, adding a condition for the person in charge's name. Task assignee nickname, which contains the current filter slash assignee. Click OK. We also add conditions to the grouped column chart. We can do a simple test. Filter NOCO bases tasks for all statuses. Uncheck NOCO base and select others, and you'll see it take effect in the current column chart. After completing the mini challenge from Chapter 9, when accessing their own data in the personal panel, set the default value to the current logged in user. Current user's nickname. Click OK. It will display the user currently logged into the system, which is NOCO base. When accessing the personal panel page again, the NOCOBase user is selected by default. It also automatically filters correctly in the column chart. Automatically loads data associated with the current user. Thus, we achieve the basic configuration of the dashboard page, personal panel. Then we go to the task management page. We need to restructure the task filtering. Remove the data scope we previously set for link jump filtering, then click OK. Next, we need to add a form filter block on this page. Set the fields for filtering, task name, task assignee, and end date. Adjust the block layout. Set the end date to is between for a date range. Move the filter block to the top of the page. We set a default value for the task status. But this time, URL search params are inaccessible. We'll cancel first and go back to the personal panel page to retrieve a piece of data, and then set it again. Set the default value, task status equals URL search parameter. Click OK to display it on the page. Similarly, we can also set task assignee with the current default value as the current logged in user. Click OK. Refresh the page, but no effect. Change it to current user. Set the display title to nickname. Enable filter. Connect the current filter block to the data block. Click filter and you can find NocoBase's tasks within progress status. Go back to the personal panel page and try to access the completed tasks. The setting is successful the task management page and the personal panel page. After restructuring, the current link filtering better fits our actual business needs. Configure documents in the knowledge document library. We need to add a hot news field to mark whether the document is important information. We enter data sources, find documents under configuration, and add a new field for hot information. To mark hot information, we use a checkbox. Name the display hot news. Field name is news. Click submit. The current checkbox news field has been added correctly. On the document management page in editor mode, the current task and hot news fields. The title is displayed as task name. Set the column width to 200. Click Go to Edit, and we add the Hot News field to mark whether the current document is hot news. Select any two and mark them as hot news. Here, we see the current document status. Return to the dashboard. We need to add a new block here. Delete the previous test chart. Add a new list block. Select Documents. Move the list block to the right side of the chart. Here, we need to configure the fields. 
choosing created at and title. Configure block layout and hide the title. Refresh the page and you can see the displayed hot news. We set the data display format. For the date format, we configure how the time is displayed. Refresh the page. Set the block title, hot news. Set the default sorting rule to descending by creation time. So newly published documents display at the top of the news list and older ones at the bottom. Exit editing mode. A simple hot information display block is done. Team members can always keep an eye on the development of documents throughout the project. Next, we create a simple public announcement feature. In editor mode, we add blocks, choosing markdown, adjust its position, moving it above the hot news. Click edit markdown content, paste the previously copied announcement information into the current markdown block. After modifying the date according to business needs, we can display the current announcement. Click Save. A simple announcement is set up. For practical markdown usage, you can refer to official demos, official documentation, or a lightweight tutorial. As a brief demo, we use some HTML to make a more striking announcement, showing the powerful features of markdown blocks. We will again paste the previously copied content into the markdown block. We can get the HTML from official tutorial documents. Click Save. Now it shows an announcement style displayed by HTML. Isn't that more appealing? Siling has been basically set up. Everyone can adjust and configure pages according to their own needs. Thank you for watching. In the next chapter, we'll dive deeper into subtasks and work hours calculation. See you there.